Hello everyone. Till now we have discussed about combination of solids having common vertical axis only. Now let's see some problems in which the axis will intersect each other. Let's take a problem. Draw an isometric projection of a vertical regular hexagonal pyramid resting vertically and centrally having two of its base edges perpendicular to VP on the top rectangular face of a horizontal square prism with its square ends perpendicular to VP. Side of square 50 mm, length of square 100 mm, side of hexagonal pyramid 30 mm and height of pyramid 60 mm. It's a lengthy problem, so we will focus on square prism first, vertically and centrally having two of its base edges perpendicular to VP on the on the top rectangular face of a horizontal square prism with its square ends perpendicular to VP. It means for the square prism on top there is a rectangular face. So if the square is resting on HP something like this, then only the top rectangular face, top rectangular face will be parallel to HP or will be on the top. Next, horizontal square prism with its square ends, square ends perpendicular to VP. So this will be the position. There square ends are perpendicular to VP, ends are perpendicular to VP and on top it has a rectangular face. So first we have to draw the projection of this prism, square prism on horizontal plane. We will start from its rectangular face or simply we have to start from its base from this direction. So we will project its end square base vertically on second and vertical iso axis then we will draw its generator generators and then we will project its second base now the base shape or base geometry is a square so we don't have to draw the helping figure simply we have to start from the square of size 50. Here taking 50 again we have to take iso 50 because we are drawing isometric projection so we have to take isometric 50 along second iso axis this is iso 50 and from first and second end we have to draw vertical lines parallel to third iso axis vertical lines parallel to third iso axis of same length, length is 50 here. This is first square end. Next, along first iso axis, we will mark its length or length of generator 100 mm. Iso 100 along first iso axis. Again parallel to first iso axis from second corner and then from third corner and from fourth corner. Now, from the end, we have to draw a line parallel to vertical axis and from the second end 
parallel to second iso axis coming from the third end line parallel to vertical axis and from the last end this is already parallel to second iso axis so this is complete projection of square prism which is resting on its rectangular face so that on top it has a rectangular face and both square ends are perpendicular to vp now here for the first solid axis is parallel to both x and y axis or both isometric axis so bisecting all sides and drawing lines from these points we will get the center center of the base for both and joining these two centers joining these two centers we'll get the solid axis actually solid axis will coincide with this generator now second solid uh hexagonal pyramid is resting vertically and centrally vertically and centrally centrally on the solid having two of its base edges perpendicular to vp so the second solid hexagonal pyramid so second solid hexagonal pyramid is resting on the upper face upper rectangular face of the square prism with two of its base sides base edges perpendicular to vp so the solid is resting like this it means we have to mark the center center of the hexagon center of the hexagonal plane on the midpoint of this plane midpoint of the rectangular face of the square prism and then from that point we have to draw the base so here first we have to locate the center center will be common intersection point of midpoints so midpoint of generator and mid midpoint of sides this is the center center of the top plane now for projecting hexagonal base first we have to draw the helping figure helping figure for the hexagonal base by taking side side of hexagon equals to 30 so drawing a regular hexagon of size iso 30 is the regular hexagon and then we have to enclose this hexagon inside a regular uh, inside a rectangular box by drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to the first base side first base side means this is my first base side perpendicular and parallel this is the helping box in dimensions of helping box is x by 5 next we have to mark the center so simply 
by joining opposite corners will get the center here center is x apart sorry x dash apart from the extreme side and vertically is y dash now projecting this helping box on the top rectangular face will take half of x from center to this point half of x along this line half of x along the same line on opposite side half of y here and half of y here so these are four ends now from all these points drawing lines parallel to first and second edge axis parallel to first and parallel to second edge axis now next we have to mark corners of the hexagon so from the first corner this is my first corner say points are a b c d e and f from the first corner a it will be here b this is the distance point is b then from third corner c c again d will be an extension of the central line this is d next from this corner d yes correct and e this is e and f sorry f f f ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. f on helping box last from the base center we have to draw line parallel to third iso axis or solid axis so from center to apex the length is equals to height of pyramid 60 so this is iso 60 now in the last step we will show all we will show all visible sides or visible generators so this is visible this is visible this is visible how to decide visible generators simply from apex draw lines up to corners and if if these points if these points are coming If these points are coming in the range, range means inside this generator, then just ignore them. Otherwise, these are visible generators. So, first, second, third, and fourth, all four generators are visible generators. Fifth is hundred percent is not visible, and for this generator. Please check it if this point lies outside outside this boundary or on the 
right side on the left side this will be a visible line visible center and visible side and if it lies inside this line then just ignore it and then visible generators of square prism from generator and dimensioning dimensioning always parallel to first second or third iso axis for both for extension line and for dimensioning line so height is 60 drawing line parallel to solid axis or vertical iso axis or showing side of the hexagon side of the base line extension line parallel to first iso axis dimensioning line parallel to second iso axis side is 30 for square it is 50 by 50 and length is 100 and last direction of viewing or direction of observation for this combination we have assumed this is direction of observation so from this direction we are observing This is first solid, which is resting on its uh, rectangular face on HP, and on top rectangular face is parallel to HP, and both square ends are perpendicular to VP. On the top face of this solid, another solid hexagonal pyramid is resting with two sides perpendicular to VP. So this is the final answer. Now please try this problem, please. Now this problem on your sheet. Thank you.